Good morning, traders. Today is Wednesday, December 7th, 8.16 a.m. Central Time, about 15 minutes before opening bell. And guys, I've got something, a significant reveal that nobody on YouTube is talking about, or at least that I have seen. I kind of troll those YouTube stocks channels. Nobody's talking about it. And that is what you see on your splash screen right now. Let me kind of zoom in a little bit so that it's a little bit easier for you to see. We've been range trading for the last month, guys. SM, and I'm talking about the S&P 500. We have been range trading, and the range is exactly, and I'm going to show you in subsequent slides, but right now this is a teaser. We are exactly between the lower end, the weekly SMA 20 line, 39.38, and the upper end, the, the EMA 50 line, 40.44, 4.04 for SPY traders. So 4.04 on the upper. Uh, 30, 393 for on the lower, okay? So, now, what we are doing right now is testing this low, this is 391, by the way, oh, 392, right here? Yeah, three, well, no, no, no. I think this is 391. I'll, I'll confirm that on the subsequent slides. We are actually s testing the 391 line that was set on November 17th, right here. Actually, we've bounced off of it, and you're gonna see, I'm gonna show you the real-time charts. We're actually bouncing off of it, and we're about to reclaim the uh, SMA, the weekly SMA 20 line, 393 for SPY. Okay? So, okay. So, last night, um, I was talking with a fellow YouTuber, and I told him, we have to make a higher low notch here. Okay? We have to make a higher low notch here on the hourly. This is the one-hour chart, by the way, on the MACD. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. It's starting to flatten out. So it came up all last night, came down slightly. Now it's flattening out to make a higher low above the negative 20 line. Remember I said that? That was like, oh, you can't you can't keep falling below that line. Remember I was saying that last night? You cannot keep following below the line. So we came up above it, came down slightly, and now we're flattening out, making that higher low notch. And you're going to see uh, shortly, I think we are about to actually hold that support line that we're currently at and looks like we're on the we're on the in the direction of getting a bounce today okay okay so let's uh, let me zoom back out and let's get on over to the next slide okay four hours chart uh, s p futures right here okay check this out if this this uh, maybe I can hopefully you can see it let me zoom in just in case you can't okay here, this is the weekly, S&P weekly. Here's the upper. See that? See the red line? Here's the upper. That's the EMA 50. That's at 4044 right here. And here's the lower. Here's the lower. That's at 390. Oh, what is that? 395. That's the low. Uh, sorry, 393. 393. 393. Sorry, I was misreading. 393. We're in a channel, guys. See that? We're in a channel. We're in a channel right here. This is blown up. This, this area is blown up to the same area. And you're going to see, actually, I can quote you right now. You're going to see this in a little bit. This is the, 11, this is the notable 11-17 date. <clears throat> oh, sorry. That's a, actually 11-2. 11-2. I'm just quoting this now because I know it by heart. 11-2. Uh, I think it's 11-10. And I think this is uh, J. Powell's speech. And then today, okay, we're, we're going to see that shortly. Uh, we're going to see it shortly. Okay, so if I, let's, let's here we go. Oh, actually, we're going to see it like right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, 11.10. Okay, this is 11.15. I was close. Ah, Thanksgiving. Okay, here we go, here we go. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so this would be CPI, 11.10. 11.15 is that peak at the top after we surge from CPI. That's this. Okay? 11.24, that's Thanksgiving, guys. 11.24. 11.24, right there. This is correlated to that. And, oops, it's a little bit chopped off. j Powell speech. This is j Powell speech. <clears throat> so j Powell speech caused us to surge. Here we go above the EMA 50, 
But what happened was we're not ready yet to hold EMA 50. That's what it was, guys. That's, that's exactly what leads us to today. We're not ready to hold EMA 50, the weekly EMA 50 right here, right here. You're looking at it right here. <clears throat> See that? Try to hold, try to hold. So we're coming back down into the channel, and we are now about ready to defend the support of the channel. You'll see it on the on the real on the uh, real time charts here in a moment. See that we're about ready to defend support, and then we're going to come back up. So when you look at this pattern, look at the pattern starting from eleven fifteen, Thanksgiving, J Powell. The pattern is getting stronger and stronger. Okay, look up. Big wick, right? We kissed it. Oh, we kissed the weekly EMA 50. But we kissed it. Ah, big wick down. We're not we're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. So it comes up. Boom. Kiss, come down. Come down to the bottom of the channel. Carve out the bottom of the channel. Consolidate. Come back up during Thanksgiving. What nobody was trading, by the way. This was on Thanksgiving. Literally on Thanksgiving. Nobody was trading. But notice that this uptrend is stronger than the last one. See that? Stronger. Uh, not quite ready yet, so let's kind of float back down. Let's kind of float back down. Float back down and kind of consolidate and regroup. Where? To the bottom of the channel again. To the uh, to the weekly. Right here. Weekly SMA. 393. So 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 we've been range trading. And then so we, we, we consolidate down to the bottom in the j Powell speech. Boom! We actually went above the weekly EMA 50 here. We went above it. But we're not quite ready yet, so we're coming back down to the bottom of the channel again. Okay? But each successive attempt is getting bigger. You see that? I mean, that, that's, the data is right there. Now, and, I, and we're going to see this momentarily on, on, the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the live chart, so you can see what, what, uh, what SPY is up to in pre-markets. It's actually quite interesting. It, it looks like it's ready to rock and roll. Okay? So... Okay, so that's the the four hour. So as you see here, so since this is the four hour, see that uh, you you got to look at this line, thir negative thirty five. You you start getting to this line, uh uh, nope nope nope. That's by, that's bearish. That's bearish. Remember that. So the the negative twenty line is meant for the one hour. The negative thirty five line is meant for the four hour on S and P five hundred. So it's right there in the middle. Okay. So let me see if there's anything else I want to explain. No. Let's go to the next chart. This is the next chart is going to be the one hour. Okay, this is the one hour. This is the same basically diagram that I, that I just explained, so I won't recap all that. Same dates, same range that I, that you saw earlier, so I won't recap all that. So, four is four oh four for spy, three ninety three on the lower, four oh four on the upper, three ninety three is on the lower. That's we're we've been range trading. We're range trading. Okay. Um. So here's the uh, 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 negative twenty line that you just actually this was on the splash screen. This is just now blown up in, in greater detail. See that? Came below it, came up above it all night, coming back down to make a higher low, and now it's flattening out. That's what I'm talking about. You've got to have that carve out the notch that creates a higher low on the one-hour time frame. And when you do this, when you, when you carve out the notch on the one-hour time frame, okay, right? What happens is, what happens is, this is the I'm back to the four hour. It stops the four hour from falling. That's what the one hour carving out that higher low notch that you just saw stops the four hour from falling in its tracks right there. I bet, I bet it's I bet when I, when I do uh, this this uh, evening's video, it's gonna stop right here. Right, we'll just say mid midpoint between negative twenty and negative thirty five. I bet the four hour stops right here and starts to go back up. Okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll see what happens in uh, t uh, tonight's video, though. Okay, so that's the one hour uh, S and P. So there's your there's your ranges. There's your upper and lower range. Four hundred four, three ninety three. That's it right there, right there. Okay, Nasdaq. Nasdaq's a little bit different. Okay, Nasdaq is a little bit different. Let's uh let's zoom in to that. Check it out. Nasdaq is not between its EMA and SMA. NASDAQ is below the SMA, okay? It's consolidating below it, okay? That, that, so that's a fundamental difference between SPY and QQQ, TQQQ also, okay? That's, that, that's the, the, the difference, okay? 
Now, for NASDAQ, the, um, the, the, the weekly SMA, the, the, gr the gray line right here, okay, is 11,960. It was up there. So it, like, sp like SPY, S&P 500, it also, you know, uh, you, can, you can say this weekly SMA gray line on NASDAQ is equivalent to SPY's weekly EMA 50, right? 403, right? Yeah, that's that's the equivalent to that. Okay. Now, uh, you know, same same type of action. See, I won't I won't recap all that. Like, there's Thursday, there's you know, same type of action. Um, however, so the difference for Nasdaq is this is 11.29 low. The the low set on 11.29, 11.465. It's currently above it, and we're we're gonna see that on the QQQ chart charts as well. See that it's currently above it. And it's about to break open, okay, on the live chart. All right. So, yeah. See, uh, this is uh, clearly uh, the, the on the four hours chart. It's getting close to the negative hundred line. It's getting close. It's getting close. So, but let's see if this on the four hour chart, if it stops, if it stops right there in its tracks and starts to go up and never reach the hundred negative hundred line. Okay. So we are going to look at the one hour chart next. Yeah, that's all I needed to explain about that. Yeah, see? Okay, right here. <clears throat> so I'm not going to rehash all of this because you just saw that on the four hours chart, right? You saw that it's under the SMA line. Now, check this out. Oops. Check this out. Okay, this is a one hour chart. Last night, it came up, coming back down. And it's starting to curl back up ever so slightly. It's creating the higher notch right at the negative 60 line that I said on the one hour chart right here. One hour chart. You have you can't go below this line. You can't just keep falling down or it's over. So it's creating the higher notch also. Um, and I think based on what you just saw a moment ago on the four hour chart, that four hour MACD is going to stop. So like right, you saw it coming down on the four hour chart, like right about here ish. I bet it's going to stop right there and it's going to pivot up. It's not going to quite get to the, the four hour negative hundred threshold of bearish. Okay. That's what I think is going to happen. So, okay. Let's skip on over. See? Okay. We got like a minute to go. Less than 44 four, four, four seconds. But I'm going to, this is important. I got to explain it. Spy. Okay. I drew it in. Here's the weekly SMA 393 line right here. See that? Here's the, here it is. I drew it in and here's the label for it. Here's the uh, 1117 low, 391. See how it bounced off of it? This is the five minutes chart, by the way. Bounced off of it nicely, bounced off, came up, back test, came up, back test, came up. See, see how it's, see now it's successfully back testing. That's what I was talking about yesterday. It's successfully back testing, and now it's holding above its own EMA 50 line right here. See that? Right here. Uh, in about, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds or so, the opening bell is going to start. But you see, you see it moving. It's, it's successfully backtesting since that 1117 low last night. And and look at the weekly 393 line. It's right at the line. You see what I'm saying? It's right at that low that I pointed out earlier. So it's going to be a battle royal. It's it's basically saying, okay, we're gonna, we got to hold support like right now, right now, do or die. Here's where I'm confident in the first 30 to 60 seconds of trading. We're going to know which way the market goes right now. <laughs> we're going to know because we are now at that weekly 393 level. Okay. Now let's uh, skip on over to TQQQ. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Same ball game. Oh, we see opening. Oh, yep. Opening bell. Same ball game. NASDAQ futures. Uh, 11,465 was that purple was the low bounced off of it coming up. Back test, come up, back test, come up, back test, come up. So uh, as of right now, uh, trading has already started. See that? Trading's already started. Let's see what, see what the VIX is up to. Trading has already started. Let me just make sure I get some, get some good refresh. You're not looking at stale data. Okay, see? Well, let me switch back over to SPY, just for grins. Since you guys like spy, 
I get it. NASDAQ's more in the minority. So that's what's happening right now. It's a battle royal. We got to let this play out. I mean, we're <laughs> we are straddling the weekly SMA 393 line right now. See that? And you can't you can't script that any other way right now. The markets must hold this line. Period. It just has to. It has to. Will it? Ooh, we're going to find out. So I don't know why that's kind of scrunched over like that. Hold on a second. <clears throat> okay, so now 30 minutes chart. Yeah, this is the 30 minutes chart. The MACD curling up, widening. Okay. Uh, look, look at the hourly chart right here. It's curling up and it's, I hope you can see it. I'll just get my cursor out of the way. It's differentiating itself from the, uh, from the, from the signal line, the green signal line. Okay. So RSI, right? RSI the five minute, RSI 30 minute, RSI one hour, all pointing up, 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 up. I'm thinking it's going to hold, guys. I'm thinking it's going to hold. Now, see that? I mean, it's so far so good. See that big green candle? But, but again, this is the first five minutes of trading, so I can't prognosticate too far. I don't want to do that. That's That'd be irresponsible of me to do that. Now, um, what else do I want to say? Okay. See? So far so good. But again, you, not you, spy, TQQQ, must Close green candles above the SMA 20. You must close above the SMA 20. You can't just kind of do what you're doing now, which is good, which is good. You have to start closing above this line. Right now, you're not doing that, but this is a good start. See that? It's going up. It's going up. But, you know, you have to. To keep this alive, you have to start closing candles above it. And just like I was, I was preaching last night, uh, you have to reclaim the, the on that it starts on the five minutes chart right here. You must reclaim the EMA 50 line on the five minutes chart. It starts with the five minute chart. And once you start doing that, you must reclaim it as you're doing right now. As of right now, you're reclaiming it. And then you must hold it and sustain it. In other words, you must show follow through. You must hold it and sustain it. And then that feeds into the 30 minutes chart, the 65 minutes chart, upward and upward and upward. That's how you sustain it, okay? So far, so good. I like what I see. See that as I'm talking? The green bar is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? But you got to start closing candles. This is only the first five minutes, like I said, okay? See, that's good. Now, let us uh, let me go back to uh, the, the, the slides for a second. I'm going to show you S&P 500 hourly, okay? Yep. Here's what I think is going to happen. In the event that we hold, we're we're literally right here. Well, actually, now we're 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 we're, we're up here. This 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 screenshot's old, uh, stale, old data right here. We're right here, right? Because you saw the big green bar. So, in the event that we hold, which I hope I sure hope we do, right? In the event we hold serve, I think we're gonna get a little chop for a couple of days, and if we hold that. It's going to be, it's going to be a pretty big move to the upside. I think so. If we can hold it, and get a little chop, right here for a little bit, get some energy, and then, boom. That next upside, if this pattern is holding, this next upside is going to be bigger than this one. If the pattern is holding, right? Because we attempted. We attempted to claim this weekly EMA 50 at 4044, 404, SPY, SPY 404. But we couldn't do it. The, basically, the, we came up and broke out thanks to uh, Chair Powell's speech, but we couldn't. We failed the back test. We failed the back test, came back down at the bottom of the channel that hopefully... I know hope is not a strategy, but hopefully we hold this bottom of the channel line, consolidate, build energy, and try again. Try again. I think that try again is going to come on Friday when the PPI, Producer Price Index, number comes out. I have a suspicion. That's my suspicion, okay? 
So you guys follow me? If you don't, please leave a comment, ask questions. Um, and <clears throat> so that, my friends, is all I've got for you guys today. If you want to follow me on Twitter, get some real-time tweets, feel free to do so. If you please give it a like, share, subscribe, and notify. And I'm going to be watching the markets here momentarily. With that, I'll leave you with my calling card, Agent 00, signing off.